Oh, Derek, to answer your question, you are Curly because Curly's the best stooge. Right. Curly's the funniest stooge because he's the fucking dummy. Welcome back! (laughs) It was a fake scare. Wonderful. (laughs) All that set up. Welcome back to the... Fucking anticlimactic beginning to the to the cliffhanger we left on last time. That's the way I'm supposed to go. I don't want to go the way I'm supposed to go. They'll Nothing understand if they watch happened. the other episode. Oh hey. Oh have you? Oh it's a hallway! Whoa! Now we're back here where Oh it died. wrapped around. Sell some stuff. How much is the, uh... Oh, man. I just had a flashback to watching a, uh... A cousin of mine play Oblivion. How was it? And... Are we talking about the one? No names. Just a cousin of mine. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, Just to give you an insight. Sarah, bleep out the name I'm about to say. My cousin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. And um, he was playing Oblivion, <laughs> and he had a whole bunch of stuff at his store. He was he was in a shop in Oblivion, and he was looking. I was like, "Oh my god, these prices are really cheap. I'm gonna go buy all this stuff." So he just starts fucking just mashing X, just buying all of this stuff. And then he realizes that he was selling. Oh, no. And this was at a different time and place in the world. There's no excuse whatsoever. As soon as he realized what he did, he had a PewDiePie moment. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. Oh, no. A PewDiePie bridge moment? A PewDiePie bridge oh, moment. Oh, no. Where he realized that he sold a lot of his inventory so he just screamed the n-word jesus yep and i laughed so hard at him for being a fucking idiot in in, in the elder scrolls the proper term is inwa uh that's, that's literally the insult in oblivion Oh god! It's a kitty cat, saber tooth alien! God, I hate how it runs! Oh my gosh. I hate it. That's why I don't have any fucking ammo, you keep missing! Shut up! <laughs> what does this do? Oh, hello. Oh jeez. So that's what that does. That's, that's the back the fuck up button. That is the back the fuck up button. There's money on the ground and something else that I just passed over. I'll get to it, I promise. Ah, uh, I remember my first Passover. What? Excuse me? Yeah, I remember my first Passover. With the goat's well, blood? The no, it was the Sadie Hawkins dance. I was passed over. Oh. Uh... Yep, just quiet. That's all that there is to that. Mm. Oh. That's such a dumb joke, too, because they <laughs> stopped doing Sadie Hawkins dances. I'm too young for a Sadie Hawkins dance. Bulbasaur! I think they stopped calling them Sadie Hawkins dances in the 90s, and I went to high school in the 2000s. There's another one somewhere. Oh, hey! Do you guys know what a Sadie Hawkins dance yeah, it's is? Yes, when the girls ask out the guys. Okay. I just want to make sure. That Bulbasaur tried to grab its friend. That's really sad. That's okay. Reminds me of when you would see, like... Uh... uh, There's this picture that I saw of a guy underneath a white cloth because he was dead. And his dog was just 
laying next to him and the emergency workers couldn't get the dog to stay. He just kept wanting to be next to his dead. That reminds me of a similar story of like, except a, instead of a white cloth, it was a white claw and it was this bro just like hanging out. Just like, dude, he's wasted. I got a, I got a similar oh God. story. Hey, yeah. hey, Derek, remember that Mexican restaurant we used to eat at a lot? Yeah, I do. Maguay. The Maguay. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll, I can't remember if I told you this story before already, but there was one day I was driving through the parking lot, and I, and I looked oh. over, and speaking of people under, like, you know, we were talking about people under sheets and stuff, I looked over, and there was this old man sitting in a pickup truck, and he looked like he was taking a nap. And I said, oh, look at that old man over there taking a nap. Like, he's had a hard day. And I drove through town, and then I came back through town, like, 30 minutes later and there was like police all around the truck and there was a white sheet over the man in the truck and I said oh fuck that dude was dead <laughs> oh no oh, that's man. what happened oh, no. it was in the parking lot of the Mexican restaurant and I was like what the fuck oh, I felt boy. I felt so bad because I feel like I should have been like because every time I see someone sleeping in a car now I'm like they're dead they're so fucking dead I should go check on them oh no <laughs> It ruined me forever. That'll happen. What am I... Fa That's so fucked up, man. Like, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, what the fuck were you supposed to do? You just saw an old man, you are like, Oh, he fell asleep in his car. Yeah, I figured he was just being a oh, hello. old man. Just oh, being like, shit. hey, I'm just... Fucking taking a nap, waiting on uh, my wife uh, to finish grocery no. shopping or some crap like that. Or Twice. Or getting her hair done at Great Clips. You're almost dead. I sure am. Yeah, like you, like that shopping center has a Mexican restaurant. It has a, a quote unquote pizza place. It has a grocery store, a nail salon. It has a Mexican restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a like a Southern barbecue restaurant. It has a Chinese restaurant. Uh, there's a Pizza Hut. <laughs> there's a Wendy's, and there's a Sheets, and there's a Subway, and then there's a sushi place. Yeah, it's like everything you need in one shopping center, basically, but all like mediocre grade. Yeah, absolutely. It's all like. Sea level food. Mexican restaurants good. Yeah, they've gotten better, but that's the only one that's gotten better. It's hard to. Do well, you good guys talk about your so. stupid ass Mexican restaurant. Um, I lost a battery. Oh, hey. There. <laughs> I was about to tell you where it was, but you wanted to get all mean about it. Well, well, sometimes I gotta be mean. I was doing my job one day, and I was walking around checking stuff. You were doing your job. Yeah, right? Oh, shit. Who are you, me? Back in the golden age. <laughs> I, I, I I stumble across this car, and there's a person in it, and they're asleep. And we just can't allow that. Like, I, I have to go check on that guy to make sure he's okay. And so I knock on the window, and I wake this guy up, and he makes eye contact with me, and he does that thing that all sleepy people do when they get surprised woken up they just like look around and then he looks me in the eyes and he's like what the and then he recognizes that i'm in a uniform so he just starts the car and he drives away huh mining log dallas a supervisor second engineer <clears throat> planet crack went smoothly from the i'm not gonna do that that the, the planet crack went smoothly from this end Although there do seem to be to have been, uh, there do seem to have been problems planet side, and we've temporarily lost contact with the colony. First rock ball was extracted from the Titanic load approximately one hour after planet cracked. I'm having so much trouble, and it's been processed, refined, and smelted. Results have exceeded even optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is around 35% mineral, 5% fossil, 60% waste. But material from the first ball was 65% mineral <clears throat> and 0% fossil, in line with expectations. That's 6.5 tons of ore from a 10-ton ball. Assuming it's not an anomaly, we've hit the mutter load. Derek's stripper name is Planet Crack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Adams is mother load. That's it. And Matt's, oh god, get off the stage. Um, I was going to say mine was 65% mineral, but whatever. <laughs> going to be fucking rude. 
uh, now there we go. There's that like magnetic boot walk of just absolute cake pants. (laughs) 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 Fucking doofy run. Release the bomb. It definitely looks like he kind of shot himself a little. That's ominous. Wow. It's below you. Look down. Oh, you're you're right. Oh, it's a black one. You said it this time. It's the first time we've seen a black saber tooth alien. Is are are you going to lose pieces? Oh my god. Jesus. There's another one. Another one. Another one. I am hitting it. Like I'm not stupid. No, they're just really tough. I've lost so much ammo from these guys. Yeah. At least it's over with. Or is it? I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. The fucking gynos globe. Oh, hello. Oh, there's another one. Oh god, he's nipping at your toes. He's... Uh... Cool. Yep, uh, let me just yeah, reload, reload real quick. That bitch uh... first. <laughs> There we go. That wasn't so bad. And he dropped some ammo. Yeah, the line gun's fucking awesome. Oh, there's... Oh, there's another clip right there. Line racks. Nice. Am I supposed to do something about this? Dude, I want some ribs. Mm, ribs. Every time I every time I see the line rack, I just think about a rack of ribs. Oh, yeah? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, that was, that was drop right. Drop the rock. Yeah. Drop the rock. And in this dark-ass room? Uh... Why is it direct? Are you supposed to... I'm supposed to walk on it. Throw yourself at it? Yeah. Is that what you're supposed to do? Sure. But where? Oh. Do you shoot that? Uh. What the fuck? Hmm. What is? Hold on. What is the? What does the light go to? Look more left and up. Left and up. That was right. Left. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I gotta break that one too. Yeah. There's also ammo floating through the sky. Oh, where? I I'm so dis disillusioned right now. Just around. It would. That left. Ah! What's oh, a crate? To your left, right there. There you go. That 22 line racks. That's 22 ribs. What? That couldn't have been. That'd be like two. That'd be like two. Okay. I could have swore it said 22. Uh. What? The fuck? Throw yourself back over there? This really isn't that complicated. We're just dumb. This might take a hot, hot fucking second. Yeah. I don't understand. Oh boy. Uh, You're going for it. Oh. Uh, nope, nope. Let me off. Let me off. I'm scared. Oh no. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, right, so what do you got to do? Plant something on there? I mean, I probably don't want to go into that. No. Shouldn't that be activated? Or did you already fuck that one up? Yeah, I fucked them both up. Oh, God. Oh, what's that? So there's two more. There's two on the outside. Uh, Oh! Right? Look up in the... Look up in the corner. Uh Uh-oh. 
I'm oh. fucked. Uh oh. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sarah, just skip ahead to when we complete this puzzle. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely outside. I can see the beam coming off of it. Oh, shit. Run! Jump to the planet! <laughs> Be free! Oh, God, what Jump. happened? Jump! I don't know what hit me. You might have got tagged by the, uh, the roller or an alien. I, I... Yeah, there's an alien up I there. I can't... F I can't freeze this without stasis. Release the stone. I, I, oh, hey. Oh, no. Bulbasaurus. Oh, yeah, you you could have cut back in, Zara, since we're a new place, by the way. And you just cut me saying that if you already did it. No, keep him in. Just so, just so everyone knows how incompetent Derek is. Where the... The, the, you know what, Sarah, Sarah, how are you doing right now? G give us a little blurb about how you're doing, what, what your thought process is. Do you do you like watching us play Dead Space? Yeah, it's it's not it's not the best sometimes, but I th I, th I agree. I think I think it's a I think it's a good series. Well, shit. Okay, I need to head back in. What's your favorite series that we've done so far, Sarah? That 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 that's also my favorite. That I is, like that. That one is too. a good one. Up. Oh! Up, oh, it's gonna get you. Oh boy, don't get fucked up, Matt. Ah! Oh, it's a crate right there. We need that. Oh, uh, where'd it go? All right. So I saw a stasis recharge station on the outside. I just need to go get it. Once I figure out where the fuck I am, there I am. <laughs> Head outside real quick. Oh, outside the room, not outside outside. Yeah. Mm. I thought you meant outside outside. I was like, the why did they fly back in? So they just bumped those guys. Whenever off. you use that, they hold something still. Do you say, "Stay, sis"? Uh, <laughs> the fucking guy. Stupid joke. He's mad that you didn't come up with it. I, you know, I don't... I don't think in puns. Look away! I have to think in puns. Is that pillow talk? Does your wife just enjoy a good pun before before intercourse? No, it's just like, <laughs> I, I have to learn all these puns just because... You know, it's Woo. dad stuff now. That's fair. That's fair. You're gonna be a paw. That's it. I'm gonna have him call me paw, too. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I feel like I should've did that while I was on the inside. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you could duck. There is ammo outside, though. Because it's a crate, too. Matt, oh, shit. Matt oh, that scared. I thought it exploded. But that was you re entering oxygen land. Oxygen land. That poor soul. I should open an oxygen bar. Oh, yeah? Do you want that kind of clientele? I don't even know who... I just said it. I don't know who the hell would go to an oxygen bar. I don't even know what an oxygen bar is. People that use oxygen will go. Yeah. Not like us, and but like people that like need tanks of oxygen. You have like different flavored oxygen. It's like almost like flavored like vape, but it's oxygen. I thought hipsters went... I would have thought the hipsters would go to oxygen bars to get, like, a quick high. Like you would for, like, um... 
make you feel all loopy. What do they give you to make you feel loopy at the dentist? Nitrous. Laughing gas? Yeah. I'm thinking of a nitrogen bar. I feel like that's dangerous. Nah. Man, fucking people do whippets. People don't care about what they put in their bodies as long as it makes them feel good for a second. Don't get toasted. Warm! You don't want to talk about going to a nitrogen bar and getting high. Why am I not allowed to get toasted? No. Get no, toasted. I didn't say I wanted to get high. I hope I could find that. There's the battery in there. Can't get to it now. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to throw batteries into fire. That'll be fine. How do you turn it off? What does that say oh. about your hands? Your safety is in your hands. Work safely today. I don't know. Uh, how would you work safely in a gigantic incinerator? Like, just nothing about that sounds safe. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You don't go throwing batteries around through the flames, probably. Yeah, know that. that's a good point. When you have a degree in engineering or fire engineering, let, let me know. Fire engineering. <laughs> hey, Ma, I think I want to go to school to be a fire engineer. You don't have to go to school to be a firefighter. Here's some matches. Go be a fire engineer. Go, oh, go God! Go some apartment complexes with some kids. <laughs> Yeah, there's just a, uh, what is it with kids and starting fires? Yeah, there's... I don't know, but it's, I don't. It was such a bizarre coincidence, man. All I wanted to do was go to my car and get my copy of He-Man <laughs> <laughs> that I wanted to bring so we could all watch. And just a group of kids just come out of the fucking woodworks and be like, "Mister, Mister." Made me feel so old. I mean, you did look like you came out of the 60s with what you were wearing that day. You looked like fucking... My, my black Canadian tuxedo with my captain's hat on? I didn't I didn't yeah. look old-timey enough? You look generic. You look like fucking generic Bob Dylan. <laughs> what? I, the I Walmart think that's brand a Bob Dylan. <laughs> what are these magazines are? Oh. Mom, can we can we have Bob Dylan? We have Bob Dylan at home. Picture of Adam. <laughs> New technology, Eon News, and heavenly bodies. I feel like there needs to be visual references for that. <laughs> uh, somebody's got to make that. You got to make that meme now and send it to Sarah. I'll do it. I'll will send her a Bob Dylan picture and then like a picture of me. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But yeah, those kids just came running to you out of the woods, screaming fire, and there was a there was a goddamn fire behind Matt's apartment. Yep. It was big. Oh, well, I mean, it wasn't tall, but it was it was pretty wide. Like, it was gonna engulf the whole wood line. Yeah. It's nice to know that in the midst of chaos, like a random stranger can team up with another random stranger by grabbing buckets in, of water and lugging him through the woods. Like, he just, like, let me into his apartment and I don't even know the man. There's something about an emergency situation that just sort of, like, brings people together if they're both, like, competent enough to actually want to help. Oh, did I tell you, like, what his wife said? Guys, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Knee I don't think him. that's what she said. <laughs> well, it's kind of accurate. <laughs> yeah. Because I guess he kind of was in oh, trouble with his wife. Because as soon as we were lugging buckets through the house, we came back through the house with the full buckets. And she said, what do you think you're doing? And I guess he said, I'm going to go help put out this fire. And like, I heard her scream to him from outside the apartment. That ain't your fucking job. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let the dude, like, be a hero or something. He wants to feel yeah. good about doing something for the community. It's like, you want the apartments to burn down? This is your home. 
I'm the one that's not supposed to give a shit. I don't live there. <laughs> yeah. You could have pitched it like, what? I don't, I don't care. I don't live here. Let the whole goddamn place burn. So, <sighs> in case you guys didn't real uh, notice, and uh, I'm sure you didn't because you were talking, um, that lady was just like, hey, I saw my dead brother. That was weird, right? And uh, this place is having some sort of psychological effect on people. So is that what your apartments do? <laughs> yeah. Have psychological effects make you see dead siblings? There, there's a part of me that sort of figured something like that was happening when you saw your possibly your, your missing girlfriend. Yeah. Wait, I'm supposed to go that way. Because there's no way that somebody's lived on this decrepit station with all this shit going on and like it's just fine. Guess I go to preparation though. Um. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, someone's just like oh. coughing in the fucking. Oh god yeah, damn! Yeah. That one got me. <laughs> <laughs> How did it get you? We were talking about it. We knew it was gonna. Yeah, happen. but I didn't expect it to drop right then. <laughs> we didn't know when. We knew he was around. Maybe it was, it could have just been Isaac. He'd just been, like, getting tired of all this shit on the ship. And he's like, you know what, now's the time to I, throw I, it I, I really wish he would stop jiggling. He's just excited to see you. Jiggle, jiggle, you jiggle. You know how, like, dogs get when you come home from work and they just can't stop moving? This is actually a good spot to end this episode <laughs> with this jiggling body. <laughs> Thank yep. you for watching. Yeah. Have fun. Uh, come back again. Don't get subscribed. Don't get surprised by jiggling bodies or fires. And hey, unless that's your thing. I, I if mean, you're yeah. ever playing the Elder Scrolls Oblivion and you're in a shop and you accidentally start selling your stuff, don't have a PewDiePie. Don't call them an in law. Don't do it. Be be better. Yeah. Be better. We should all be better. And if you see a bunch of kids come out of the woods and they scream that they started a fire, go back home. Yeah, <laughs> just go home. <laughs> because that ain't because your job. Let them handle it. Because <laughs> that ain't your job, exactly. Unless you live there. But, yeah, well, yeah. If yeah, you live, if you there, live there, then, then you, you it's need your... to fucking do something. Because that could that could don't, be a problem. Yeah. Don't pull on Adam and try to be the Bob Dylan hero of the day. Yeah. Yeah. You dress like a folk hero, and now you're a folk hero to those you kids. Dress like a folk hero, you die like a folk hero. They're gonna they're gonna grow up and be like y'all remember when Bob Dylan helped us put out that fire behind the apartments and then the other kids are like who the fuck's Bob Dylan? Yeah, because <laughs> we the kids we, don't know. We only know Lil Uzi Vert. Oh God, this is going too long. But bye, yeah, bye. <laughs>